have friends who come into my office like, what, what happened? It's like jungle in here. Well, I have all kinds of obsessions. I, I would say that like proportion, shape, aesthetics, color are kind of my obsessions. Um, and orchids fit into that really well. When I'm obsessed with orchids, and it happens to be in the winter a little bit more, actually, just because there's a lack of green in nature and warmth, and they kind of provide that. What I tend to do a lot is rescue orchids. As soon as the blossoms fall off, they'll throw them away. So I've found them on the street. People know that I do this, so they'll bring them to me. Like, I've gone to the flower district, and the ones that, that don't have any blooms anymore, they'll give you. But orchids actually are what is known as epiphytes. They're um, air plants, so they grow on trees. A lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them grow on trees. So they actually thrive indoors, and um, if, if you know them, if you understand them, they actually thrive on neglect, because <laughs> they don't need a lot of attention, which is good. And I think they're like little contained life forms, you know? They don't, they don't get crazy. Like, some plants go nuts, and it's like totally out of control, and I don't let, you know, it's just, I'd rather that happens outside. It's like having a small dog as opposed to a big dog. Like, I love, I love sequoias and giant trees, but that's for the forest. I gotta live in the city. This is kind of my oasis. And you can see, you know, in, with orchids, what they need. You know, people are like, I can't keep an orchid. It's like, just pay attention. But it's not that complicated, actually. Orchids are a lot easier to care for than most other plants. It's a nice hobby because it does the work without you. You don't have to do anything. You just water them. It's not a big deal. So I have to say that in the middle of winter, when you see one that's about to bloom, it's pretty exciting. And you, a lot of times with the rescue ones, you don't know what they're going to do. You know roughly what type of orchid they are, but you don't know what the bloom is going to look like, actually, until they bloom, which is pretty exciting. It's a little bit sad when one doesn't make it and you can't figure out why, what happened exactly. But I, don't, I try not to get too worked up about it. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. In the end, they are, they are just plants. I mean, you know, <laughs> when people are in a natural place as opposed to a city place, they are much more relaxed. So I think it's a fact that having a little green around, it absolutely is kind of a zen thing for sure. Whatever makes you happy, you know? I mean, there are a lot weirder kind of obsessions in orchids, you know? <laughs> and I might have a couple, actually. That's personal.